In this Lightroom Classic tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the color grading wheels, which can turn a photo that looks something like this to something like this. This is an update that swapped the split toning tab for this new color grading tab. Here's another example of what you can do. You can really go wild with it. If you are used to split toning, Basically what this allows us to do, instead of just adding a color tint to the shadows versus the highlights, we now have a mid-tones option. So I'm going to walk through everything you need to know to understand how to use this and also what the process of when you should apply this to your photos. You really want to have a base edit first, meaning you wanna adjust your basic sliders, you wanna adjust your, your even your HSL and color sliders if necessary. I've made some basic adjustments to the white balance and the exposure, but the color grading option really gives us the ability to give it a style. So let me walk through how this panel works. So the first tab, and these are buttons up here, will show all three color wheels, shadows, midtones, and highlights. If you click on these other buttons, it opens up each color wheel larger so that you have more control. And then the last button is a global adjustment. And if I just click in the center of this wheel and drag to the around to the edge of the circle, you can see what's happening. You're giving a tint to your photo. And with the global adjustment, it's applying it to all tones, shadows, midtones, and highlights. The further out to the edge of the circle, you're going to add more saturation. Another thing to note is this drop down right here where you can fine tune a specific hue, saturation. So if you have a certain style and you're always trying to add a 222 blue hue, then you can dial that in right there. You have your specific saturation slider here as you can see this moving in and out which just gives you more fine tuning the luminance slider is just that it's luminance it's the brightness of this tone which we're on global so this is going to make the whole image brighter or darker i wouldn't recommend making your general exposure adjustments here in color grading this is sort of a last chance or a follow-up option for just fine tuning the brightness of your different tones, but you definitely wanna start with your basic sliders or your tone curve for your exposure. So let me jump in and show you how this would actually work. You probably notice I skipped blending and balance, which I'll get to in just a second. So here for this photo, for example, I might want to add a little bit of more of a deeper blue to my shadows. So here I'm on my shadows. I'm gonna take this dot in the middle and drag out. And if you want to reset anything, just double click inside the wheel. So I'm gonna drag this out. A little bit goes a long way, so you gotta be careful with it. So I'm just gonna drag it out here to start with. The luminance, I think I'm also gonna bring just down a little bit to make those stars pop even more. Now I'm gonna to move to my midtones. And right now, I just from my eye, I'm not exactly sure what my midtones are. So I'm just going to drag out all the way and just sort of swing it around and see what might look good. Now, I could go and do something super creative like this, add some pink magenta to those midtones, which really highlights this long exposure and the, that red light of the brake lights going around this curve. So I think something like that works maybe bringing down the luminance just a touch. And lastly, highlights. For the highlights, I am thinking I'm probably gonna wanna add a little bit more warmth. Although if you wanna, you know, around blue, that looks kinda cool too. I don't wanna double up with some magenta with the highlights and the midtones because that looks a little bit too much. Maybe backing over to the blue is nice because we have this sort of magenta red and then the blue highlight of the lights, headlights of the car, that's kind of neat. So this could be a starting point. If I go back to my overall view, you can see all of the adjustments I've made. You see the luminance slider down below. You can even turn toggle these on or off just by clicking and holding it down to preview it. The two sliders at the bottom that we didn't cover are blending and balance. 
Balance is, if you remember split toning, is similar to that. It's going to balance the strength of what's happening to the highlights versus the shadows. So if I drag to the left from zero, it's going to make what's happening in the shadows and the lower mid-tones more powerful. So we're adding more blue and magenta, right? Now, if I swap this over to the right, it's going to make what we did to the highlights more powerful and the shadows less powerful, as we can see with the highlights, which we added this sort of teal cyan color. So this is sort of another place where you can decide, okay, well, do I want to change that balance? And then blending sort of blends what we're doing to all of these different tones together. So the higher the blending, everything we're applying gets sort of blended to all of the tones versus if you want very specific sort of lines or ends of when shadows start and when midtones begin, that's what blending is. So increasing the blending will make the color sort of overall look, I think, look just like that, more blended. And that can look very much more natural than a un an unblended edit, but it all depends on the photo you're working with and the style you're going for. I think blending it just a little bit and then here we just have two completely different styles. If I balance it to the highlights, it looks not natural at all. If I go a little bit down to the shadows balance or making those more powerful at negative 24, I think this looks pretty good. We can always look at the before and after of the entire photo with the backslash button. So here's the unedited raw photo. Here's the edited photo. Or just for this one color grading, you can turn this view on with this little slider up here. I think that adds a lot more nice color to this photo, makes it a lot more unique. Let me just show you another photo just to show you what you can do. Let me actually quickly show you this photo of the Walt Disney Concert Hall. I'm just gonna show you what I did. I added a little bit of coolness to the shadows I added a little bit of warmth to the midtones, and then also even more warmth to the highlight. Now, if I go back to the global, you can see if I take off some of these adjustments, you can see what it's actually doing. And it really is bringing out sort of this warm as if it was like sunrise beating down on this metal metallic building, which is pretty cool. But it's also bringing out the blues in the sky. And I actually brought down the luminance of that just a little bit. Balance and blending, I left the same, but if I blended it more, you can kind of see what's happening because I've added gold or gold or yellow warmth to the midtones and highlights. When I blend more, the entire image gets a little bit more warm, but also you're starting to see a little bit of blue added to those highlights and midtones when I blend it more. If I do the balance all the way to the right, we're just getting all of that, uh, that warmth versus to the left, it's all that blue. So I think here we're just going with sort of right in the middle. If you have a portrait, this is another way to give a nice style. So this is our portrait of Will. Basic edits done, you can see the before, after, just a little bit of adjustment to the exposure and the color white balance. Here, you might want to give a style to our shadows, maybe a little bit of coolness to our shadows, our midtones as well, and then our highlights we're gonna warm up. This is a very sort of common edit where you add blue to your shadows and midtones and then add a little bit of warmth. Maybe you want to add a little bit of green or teal to your highlights. That gives it sort of that Miami Vice feel. Now let's just play around with our balance. If we want it warmer, cooler. And here we can go on, off. Now that's sort of messing with our white balance, right? Because now it's not perfectly white balanced the way that we adjusted it before. 
but that's what color grading is. You're giving it a style and you're not necessarily wanting your colors to be exactly what they should look like because you want it to have a style. I'm adding a little contrast here. Again, I think the overall exposure adjustments you should be doing with your tone curve or your exposure sliders. Oh, see, now you can go completely crazy with it there. Something like that looks pretty good. And then I might go back here for this actual edit, drop down our saturation overall. It's kind of a cool look. All right, so hopefully now you know what the color grading panel is and does, how to use it. If you have questions, let me know. And hopefully you're as excited as I am about the new possibilities that you have with this new feature in Lightroom Classic. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another tutorial.